Hey guys, welcome to another edition of 3 Minute Thursdays with the Max. Today we're actually working in the greenhouse, working in the raised beds, and doing some fertilization. Now again, we are organic, so again, we have to really watch what we use to, um, to feed our soil starch, to feed our seed starch, to feed the soil that's underneath our broccolis and strawberries and all that good stuff. Um, we, we have used a pelletized uh, fertilizer. The only thing about that, it can get pricey. Uh, we do buy it off season, so there's a hint too. If you are looking for organic pelletized fertilizer or granulated fertilization, learn to buy it off season. Go to your big box stores like Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, Walmart, all those places. Once the spring season is done, because a lot of people do not plant in fall and winter, and you can usually pick those up for about half price. Look for them in the garden sections or in the sections that they would traditionally be changing to Christmas. Uh, that tends to be the place you can find them. So, just a quick tidbit. But today we're talking about liquid fertilizers. To me, liquid fertilizers are more expensive on the front end, but you're buying them in a concentrated form. So you're paying $20 and $30 for the gallons, but ultimately you're only using a tablespoon to two every time you're mixing it. We use a gallon mixer to mix ours. So we take a concentrated amount of this liquid fertilizer and then that way it helps spread it. It's a lot easier. It goes real quick and it tends to be the way that we like to fertilize. Now I'm gonna talk about two fertilizations and the two, the reason we use these two and why we, we believe in them, we've used one for over two years. We've used one that we just started using that we have been really pleased with. So first we're gonna talk about fish emulsion. Uh, we have a Fertilome fish emulsion 551, or 511, excuse me. Uh, it is a nitrogen booster, a rapid release. And it tends to do really good of not burning, but also if you do, if you gotta follow directions, of course, but if you follow directions, it usually takes about a tablespoon or two, puts it in there. I, I usually kind of spray around the base of my plant, even if it hits some of the, the greenery, it's not gonna hurt it because it's actually nitrogen to help boost them anyway. But ultimately, we try to go around the root system. It tends to be a rapid release. It tends to help make a vigorous growth real quick. That's why I like the fish emulsion. It's, it's a very good um, additive, I think, that we try to do at least once a month. Uh, we use two brands, a Fertilome. Like I said, that's the one we buy locally. Uh, this is the one we bought online. We'll link it in the store. This is called uh, Just Sensational. Uh, it is a fish emulsion enhancer, soil enhancer. Um, again, just another great way of feeding the ground that you're actually planting in. We don't do any pre-spraying. We wait till we have the seed starts in the ground, or we wait until at least the, the you know the foliage is coming on uh, the seed starts, and then we start uh, vigorously putting this on. Uh, and we do it usually once a month. If it's been raining a lot, we may do it twice a month. But it's a good way to uh, to feed uh, feed your soil starts, to feed your soil right there when everything's starting to really grow. And you want to see some real good green growth, some good foliage, and it, it just tends to do really well. And it, to me, it does better than mixing in the the granulated fertilizer. I really like it. Uh, now, secondly, this is one we just started using. Uh, I've only used it this year, but I've been really pleased with it. Uh, it is actually a kelp. It's a seaweed-based, same thing, Omri-listed organic fertilizer. Uh, one thing I like about this, again, you can mix it. This gallon comes in there. If you, you can mix it a little bit stronger if you like. It does not burn, but it does really help everything um, just really pop. It gives about four to seven days. You can really start seeing a difference. Uh, it'd be just like us watering plants, but instead we're doing it in a mixer. But these are two things that, man, I'm telling you, I just really like. I think if you're if you're trying to be as organic as possible, I don't care what you say. Uh, your soil is the best thing about it. Worm castings. We use a Again, uh, uh, peat moss, all that good stuff. But when you talk about, hey, I need fertilization over the season, granulated is good, but granulated can be expensive. And also, it seems to be a little bit more time release where these are rapid release. Really, really makes everything thrive well. So I hope you enjoyed this 3-Minute Thursdays. Just short, but I would, again, challenge you to get these two things. This is called Just Sensational uh, Fish Emulsion and Soil Enhancer. And this is a liquid kelp. Uh, just basically organic seed uh, or seaweed um, uh, concentrate. Both of these are going to put you back about 20 bucks. But again, you're mixing it, diluting in a gallon, a teaspoon or a tablespoon or two tablespoons at a time, depending on what you're feeding. And I, ca I can't tell you the, the results that you'll have by using them. So hope this helps. Again, try these things. If you don't believe me, try one of them. Don't buy them both. Try just the fish emulsion because it's something that we've used year after year. And it's done a great, great job on our gardens and our raised bed. Now, I'm not saying you could use this on a 10,000 square foot garden. Because, again, I think it would go pretty quick. But on your raised beds and your greenhouses and on your pots, 
it's the way to go. So I hope you enjoy this 3 Minute Thursdays with the Max. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you're subscribed to our channel to see other tips and updates on the garden side, on the cattle side, on the sheep side, the pig side, the chicken side, every side that we can help you with. And again, comment to us. Tell us if you've used this fish emulsion, if you use seaweed, or if you use another granulated or another liquid fertilizer. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.